At Twin Cities Orthopedics, we believe less pain is your gain. So we stay in the fight with you. This is your victory, and you've earned it. Welcome to Breakaway, presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics with Mark Parrish. I'm Audra Martin. As they say, all good things must come to an end. Tonight, it's the Wild's win streak that stops at 7. But they do battle back to pick up one point in an overtime loss tonight against the Pittsburgh Penguins, a game that saw this team have some resiliency. They came right back after having a goal waved off. And then another good effort in the third period, thanks to Kirill Kaprizov, <laughs> making a little bit of history with his 83rd point of the season. Who else but Kirill Kaprizov? And, you know, it was a tough game. There, was a, there, was, there wasn't a whole lot of flow. There was a lot of whistles, a lot of penalties, a tough game for, 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 for the team, for everybody to get into it. But the Minnesota did it. The Wild did such a good job just sticking with it. Here's the resiliency that we talked about. Just offsides, just a little bit. Just a little bit. How come they couldn't let that one go? But you know what? Here's the Minnesota Wild. What do they do after what could be crushing for the bench? They just come right out and they score to make it 3-2. It's just, it is amazingly, amazing the resilience, the character, the compete, the determination, how much this team it truly just cares is what it comes down to. How badly they want to win and how much they care about winning for this state. So it's a 4-3 final. The two points go to the Penguins. And the Wild and the Penguins split the season series, each with an overtime win and a uh, win themselves. Or, sorry, overtime loss and then a win themselves. Tonight, some history. Kirill Kaprizov getting his 83rd point. Chris Letang getting his 500th career assist. Unfortunately, the Minnesota Wild suffer their first overtime loss of the season so far. Here's what Dean Evison had to say, though, about that resiliency and no-quit mindset from his team. We really liked our, again, resilience and our pushback and, um, you know, would have been easy to fold a 3-1 for sure. Um, and uh, guys just kept doing the right things. Didn't, didn't lose their composure like us coaches probably. And, uh, you know, we were able to get a point. So after a franchise-long nine-game homestand, it's finally time to hit the road. It's four, starting with a battle against the Carolina Hurricanes, wrapping up back-to-backs the next day against the Washington Capitals, then a couple Central Division showdowns as they face the National Predators and the St. Louis Blues. It's going to be a tough stretch. We'll see how the Wild can show up on the road, hopefully just like they did here on home ice. We will see you starting on Saturday. Until then, for Mark Parrish and Madra Martin, thanks for joining us on Breakaway, presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics.